This is Daryl Scriven's beloved pickup truck. His last name is on the personalized plate. It was my truck, and then we gave it to our son um, one year for his birthday. And it was on his son's birthday this year that his truck was repossessed. They came and took the truck and said that the loan was not paid off. The loan was from 2017, a personal loan through Wilshire Consumer Credit that the Scrivens took out. They used the truck title as collateral. We had to move unexpectedly, so we needed to cover some moving costs at the time, and that was the only way that we could do it. Scriven says he was told he needed to make a monthly payment of $360 to pay off the loan. They are the ones that set that amount for the three years. Um, so I figured like any other normal loan, after three years, it would be paid off in full. More than $12,000 later and almost three times the loan amount, Scriven thought it was paid off, but it wasn't. And the lender wanted Scriven to pay an additional $4,400 on the loan, plus $675 to get his truck back. Turns out Scriven was paying 78% interest. The director of California policy for the Center for Responsible Lending says people like Scriven with poor credit have limited options for borrowing money. They are going to be taken advantage of by very high interest rates, by the financing charges. It's why when you make payment after payment on time, month after month, for 36 months, you have barely made a dent. Uh, towards the principal amount of the loan. That is predatory. As of January 1st of this year, a loan like Scriven's is illegal. California passed AB 539, which caps the interest on loans between 2,500 and 10,000 at about 38%. But since Scriven got his loan in 2017, it doesn't apply to his loan. Uh, well, what I would encourage a borrower in that type of situation to do is to submit a complaint to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, um, which is the federal agency in charge of overseeing lenders. Um, I would submit a complaint to the Department of Financial Protection and Innovation, which is the California state regulator. Wilshire Consumer Credit refused to talk to me about Scriven's case, but after contacting them repeatedly and even getting the Better Business Bureau involved, they finally agreed just this morning to return his truck and waive any fees that they said he owed. He just sent me this photo of his truck back in front of his house. Christine Lazar, KCAL 9 News.